All right, everyone, welcome back to Penny Fire Records. In today's installment, we're going to talk about the new SSL UC1. SSL. SSL. <laughs> All right, so we've had the SSL UC1 in the studio for about a month now. We got it uh, probably like a week after it came out from Sweetwater. Unlike the SSL UF8 video where we rushed and put that out within a few hours of owning it, we wanted to sit with the UC1 for a couple weeks and really get to learn it, see what we liked and didn't like about it, um, and just discover how we were going to use it here in the studio. Uh, with that being said, we love it. And we have found that it is a huge, huge time saver and it does mimic and replicate a, an actual console very, very well. As you guys can see here, we are a hybrid studio, so we record and we mix in the same space. So we have to utilize various techniques by taking sound panels down and or putting um, wood panels that we have up over the sound absorption panels to help the, the higher frequencies reverberate throughout the space. Let the, let the room move and... Let the room breathe, so to speak. Ooh, Get some depth like to breathe. it, right? So uh, with that being said, we're going to go ahead and show showcase for you how we've been using the UC1 and where we think it's a big help and it's a huge time saver. And when you're back there on the drums or you're in here in the studio in some type of uh, function and you're recording, it really does give you that big studio feel because you have a semi-mixed sound coming through your, your headphone mix or your monitor mix. Um, and it just creates a lot more inspiration when you're, when you're playing along with the band. It really helps you dial in the tones that you're looking for. So... Yeah. All right, so just a little disclaimer, there is popping in the video during the uh, the actual portion with the UC1. And I'm so sorry. And sometimes little uh, audio loss. We think that we've traced that down to the audio hijackers. We don't know if it was we had you know too many things going on with the computer at once or what it was, but we believe audio hijackers was causing the popping that you're gonna hear in the video coming up. We tried recording the video multiple times to get it out and we kept running into the same issue. Uh, and it's only when you manipulate the control surface of the right. UC1. It's a weird little thing. You, you turn the dial and it pops or drops the audio for a brief second. So let us know if you've had that same issue as well, and maybe there's something, a different program we could use or something that uh, we could do differently that you guys know about that we don't. That'd be awesome. Um, yeah, so once again, full disclaimer, there's going to be a little bit of popping. We've tried to correct it. We did do a full system restore on the computer and set it up as a brand new computer rather than using Time Machine right. and bringing it over. Hopefully that'll fix the issue for further videos. Hopefully. Yeah. You know, especially now that things are compatible again. That's the reason why we had to use Time Machine in the first place. So yep. it was really nice to set it up as a new computer and it is running better, so. So with that being said, let's dive in. Three, two, one. It's time to sing. All right, everyone. So let's go ahead and showcase how we are using the UC1. So what we like to do is when we first bring somebody into the studio, we want to get a quick little dialed in sound for them. Now, since we are a hybrid studio, like I said, we're gonna have to wear headphones for this, which we don't normally mix on headphones. So what we'll do is we'll quickly dial in a tone that's sounding uh, inspirational for the moment and that matches the, uh, the tone or the atmosphere that the artist is going for. Then once we, uh, get that, that, that pre-dialed in tone, we'll go ahead and lay it down, and then afterwards, with the beauty of it being a plug-in, we can go and manipulate the sounds however we want thereafter. So that, that is one nice thing about this setup, is you don't have to commit to a sound and then be stuck with that sound. You you can go back later and manipulate it, which is obviously one of the beauties of plugins, uh, and it works out really well in this situation. With that being said, let's go ahead and dial in a uh, workable drum tone for the time being. So, Mr. Nicky, if you could take it away back there with the kick for me, please.
All right, that should work. Let's go ahead and get you with a uh, the snare top next. Actually, hold on, one more thing with the kick. Uh, give me the kick one last time. All right, let's go ahead and do the snare. Okay. 
All right, hi hat. Okay, let's go over to Tom One Top. Let's do uh, snare two. Okay, we're gonna go to um, overhead, right.
All right, last but not least, let's do the room. Okay, and then let's do a quick blend of everything in the mix real quick. Don't, right. don't let me try that ever again. <laughs> I'm never gonna let you do that again. All right, um, so I would say uh, that took about uh, 15, 20 minutes to dial it in real quick, but we have a workable uh, sound for recording for right now. All right. And then since it's a, a plugin, then we can always go back later. And once we actually sit down with the real studio monitors, we can then go in and actually dial it in and, and tweak it and get the compression, get everything sitting uh, where we want it to sit. It's, it's hard in here with headphones on and having the real drums blending in, of course, but it does get a workable sound, as you can hear. And that's the cool part about the technology is like now, you know, back in the old school days, I mean, you had to dial, dial in that tone, excuse me, and... Um, I mean, you, you you were stuck with that. You were, mm -hmm. that's it. If you didn't get it right, you were done. Um, at, at least now you can kind of get that console feel, I feel. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, you get that console feel where you can really, you know, just delve in and just, uh, or dive in and um, really dial this tone that fits whatever song that you're trying to do. Yeah, right there we went for, obviously, uh, it's, it's a pretty aggressive rock 
right. uh, a hard you know, rock very, sound. A lot, um, a lot of clarity, a lot of punch, a lot of attack. And, yeah. Uh, you know. But the tactile feel of the UC1 is awesome because instead of sitting with your mouse in the plugin itself and trying to go to numbers, um, and you get to get use it, your ears. Yeah, instead of like trying to get it like exactly 3.0 or 3.5, like you're not. Who you're cares not, about that? Nobody exactly. cares about that. Cares you're, about you just that? want to hear. You just want to hear what you're it sounds like. Grabbing the tone, you're, you're spinning the dials, and you're just listening with your ears mm -hmm. to what what you're going for for that particular song or that particular sound that you're trying to to find. And like, I can't tell you like how many forums and stuff like that that I've gone through, and I, there's such a small you know, like a small amount of people within those forums that literally talk about this and everybody else is like no 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 you know what i'm saying like where those one or two people are like just listen yes just trust, listen trust your ears trust your ears like it's so true what they say yeah they're trust they're, your ears man a lot of the uh and both of us go uh full-time to berkeley's college of music and i would say that's the number one thing that they're teaching you uh with all the the professional producers and engineers at that school they're teaching you Listen to your ears. Stop, stop trying to go for this uh, dead set. I know at exactly four point two, it should do this, and blah blah blah. Right. blah. They don't. They don't. Who teach cares, you that. man? Just it's, whatever sounds good. Yep. It is good. It's so true. It, that and really is a thing. That's how all the engineers figured it out back in the day. Yeah, is they listened to what what tone they were after for that particular track, uh, and that particular album. Right. And once they achieved that overall sound that they that they wanted, they, they didn't really care what the actual specific numbers said here on the board it's what their ears told them and what sounded good so anyways this provides that though this gives you that brings you back to um you know even though it's in the box it also kind of takes you out of the box because it is it gives it's, a, you, it's a two in one system and yeah. it's kind of freaking cool man it's awesome it's, it's, it's a perfect cool. hybrid setup i mean we love it i think it works absolutely perfect in here um i think the number one reason why it works perfect in here is because we don't have a control room separate from a live room which one day where we'll work up to and we will have that one day mm -hmm. of course but if you are out there and you are considering getting the uc1 um, and I know you've, you've seen probably you get two a, thumbs up for me. Yeah. And you've probably seen a perfect. bunch of the other videos out there and a lot of the videos, um, you know, just walk you through the individual functions of what this does, much like we did with our, our UF8 video. But for this one, we wanted to show you kind of like how we've been, how we've found that we, what we like it for, what we like it for is sitting here in the hybrid environment with headphones on quickly dial in a tone that works for yep. that particular track, but then have the freedom now to go back afterwards when we sit down with the actual studio monitors on. And now that we're sitting down with the actual studio monitors on, studio monitors on we can pull the plugins back up and now fix all the little tweak the taste and it's the same thing yeah. where you know when we do pull them back up we will I, I will not look at the plugin on the screen it will just be me just dead center and just kind of looking down and just turning the knob and just trying to hear like all right this is what i think matches the overall mix so far is this right here so yep. it, it's kind of cool to to be able to get both worlds in one box. It, it is, yeah, it's it cool. definitely. So if you're out there and you're like us and you're recording in, in, in an environment like this and this is what you have to work with, I highly, highly recommend getting right. this thing because it just it brings the best of both worlds. You get you get a, uh, yep. a console feel, you get out of the box feel with an in the box uh, tweakability and and being able to fix it later on customization, fix it later on. Is that work? Yeah, I mean, could you use that? I guess I think that works. That works. So with that being said. Um, Thanks Let us know what you in. guys think. Yeah, like thanks for it, tuning yeah. in. Let us know what you guys think. Please drop a line in the comments below. I'm sure, just like our UF8 video, we're still getting a lot of comments on that. I, I look forward to seeing what you guys have to say about this particular video. If there's anything about this that you didn't like and or if you think we should expand on it some more, let us know and we can go back yep. and do a, a UC1 update video and, and answer all the questions that you guys may or may not have for that. So. Or just feel free to just email us, you know, records 21 you know, at gmail.com, you know, any questions you have, you know, we'll be happy to answer and we'll, we'll make sure you're taken care of. And, uh, just so you guys know, we are not sponsored by SSL either. This is just our honest opinions. Maybe so, one day, maybe one day. <laughs> All right. So with that being said, you guys have been beautiful as always. We are Penny Fire Records and, uh, like subscribe, comment, and we'll catch you guys later. Bye.